challenge. Can we make it from here, hit this, and into there? The Traxxas X Max is one of the world's best RC cars, and in the last video, we broke it. So in this video, we're gonna fix it, then we're gonna modify it, and then we're gonna take it out and give it hell. I wanna set myself a challenge today, not to break anything. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. And I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that nine till five and you wanna make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. So we've got all these aluminium upgrades here from Trill Hobby. Check them out, guys. They look absolutely epic. It's all machined out of 7075 aluminium, so super strong. And it doesn't actually feel that heavy at all. So if you want to know where you can get all this stuff from, and where you can get all this stuff from, there's going to be a link to all of that down below. Oh, look. It's got a crack in it. That's handy, because we've got a new one. So this isn't the first time that I've broken one of these, so hopefully this is going to solve it. There is one downside when you fit aluminium, it can add a little bit of weight, and especially on a truck like this, which is designed to flex, when you start adding aluminium, you could actually move the, the stress point onto something else and break other parts. All these rigid aluminium parts can be really good if they're placed strategically. So in this video, we're going to find out if all this stuff here is a good idea or not. So weight-wise, there doesn't really seem to be much in it. Let's chuck it on here and have a little look. So 22 grams for the stock part and 47 grams for the trill aluminium part. It definitely looks nice, that's for sure. And we'll soon know when we start bashing this, guys. If it moves the stress point to somewhere else, we're going to start breaking shock towers and chassis. So time will tell if this is a worthy upgrade or not. Next, we've got these aluminium diff covers. I've actually broken a few of these in the time, so hopefully these are going to solve the issue. Time will tell. Oh no, what happened there? Yes, we have spares. Oh look, this is another modification that I've been testing recently. A stock, the X-Max has come with a centre drive shaft like this. The trouble is, because the plastic chassis flexes, it bends this centre drive shaft when you really jump it high. So this here is a split drive shaft system. It's got a spline in the middle here. So as the chassis flexes, it gives it a little bit of wiggle room in the drive shaft. So far guys, it's looking perfect and it's been through hell. So don't forget guys, there's a link down below to this car and all the upgrades. So where this bearing sits, we actually have to take a little notch out of this plate here. So that's why I walloped it, because now we've got the mark here, look, we can see where to cut it. That'll do. Postman! <laughs> it's like Christmas every day. We'll have a look to see what's in here a bit later. So a little trick here, common problem, is that this cover can sometimes pull out. So what you can do is get yourself a three millimeter drill bit and drill out these four holes here. And then you can put in some longer screws. And the screws that I used are M4 by 25. Type that into eBay and you'll find some. Check it out, guys. That looks beautiful. So for the rear end, exactly the same process. I'm not going to bother filming it. So on these bumpers, you often pull the screws out of here. So what you can do, get the mount, get a 3mm drill bit, and just drill all the way through like that. And then you can fit a longer screw. And M4s by 30 should be perfect. Beautiful. Oh, look guys, I was just removing this here off camera. This is the rear one, and look, it's broken. There, there, and there. So I've got a good feeling about these ones here, guys. Next, we've got to change the rear arm. So the arm that we broke here, look, it's actually an RPM arm. I think the stock arms are actually more than strong enough, especially when you put these pins through. These are the Sen hinge pins. There's a link to these down below. It's basically a nut and a bolt that bolts the arms together. On the stock one, it's just a pin. When you crash, it just snaps off one of these lugs. Oh no, I put the wrong arm on it. That's the arm for this side. This is the one we're supposed to put on it. Oh wow. 
So I've got these trail rear hubs that I could put on here, but I'm actually running these RPM ones on here and I've never actually had any problem with these. These have also got an oversized bearing in here because the stock X-Max bearing, especially this inner one here, is really thin walled and you break quite a lot of them. Now with these trail ones, just like on the RPM ones, they do come with bigger bearings, but look, you put in one bearing, then a shim, and then a bigger bearing, and then the stock outer bearing on this side. So you've actually got three bearings in here. So the bearing system in here is probably going to outlast the RPM bearing system. But I've had these on here since the start of this X-Max, and they're still perfectly fine. And I'm a believer of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're going to leave those on there until they break. So next, this part here I have actually broken before. When I've broken the rear bulkhead, it took this part with it. So you might as well put this on. And it also weighs next to nothing. And check out that machining on there, guys. These parts look absolutely epic. And lastly, we've got to fit this aluminium knuckle assembly. So it comes with two bearings per side. So you put the small bearing in first and then the bigger bearing. But I'm not going to run this middle bearing because I think it adds extra weight. So I'm just going to put the outer bearing in and then on the outside, you run the stock bearing. If you want maximum durability, I suppose I could run that middle one, but I'm going to try it without. Check it out, guys. That fitted on there absolutely perfectly. Boom! So next, we're gonna take it out for a rip, but first, let's have a look to see what's in this parcel. Oh, check it out, guys. So we got some more legendary red. So this is the colour here that I paint most of my RC cars. And to get the red to really pop, we back it with some white. And then we got some more spearmint. And that's that colour there. So there you go. They're the colours that I use. And then we got some foam tyres for the Project 203 mile an hour RC car. And then we got these foam tyres here for the Project Dirt Cheap 100 mile an hour RC car. And then we got these new RC cars here that we got to unbox and review. And we got all the parts for the monster truck on the way and i know i'll see it in the comments people say oh maybe in another five years he'll do it no guys the parts are paid for the parts are almost ready to ship the parts are going to be here soon the axles the engines the wheels the tires the body everything guys this truck is going to get built very very soon so subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss any of it <laughs> guys i can't wait but for now let's take the x-max out for a rip and if you want to know where to get these tools from there's going to be a link to that down below and they're dirt cheap but good all right let's bash guys it's about five o'clock in the morning <laughs> well what is it Oh, I tried to make it sound bad. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Ian and Claire in the house. What have we got over here? Ooh, here's all my victims. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at that. I'm going to set myself a challenge today not to break anything. Let's see if we can do it. What do you reckon?
Yeah? Yeah. Brush it. Oh, you haven't. No! Are you broken or did it come out? It's come out. Oh, my tough baby! Oh no, Karate tough, isn't it? It's not going to be on your channel. Yeah. Me What's your channel? Claire's RCs. Oh, I did a D. I wouldn't force it, dude. Oh, X Max turn to get it. We've got to try and take a run up through there, flat out through here, and hit this full speed. And hopefully not land it in that tree. All right, here we go, flat out. Oh, no, not flat out. Try and put a lump post in the way. <laughs> X-Max loves it. Guys, that was up there. Footage. It landed like there, from there. It went like that high. <laughs> I hate to say it, Claire. I think the X-Max is still king. <laughs> Next challenge. Can we make it from here, hit this, and into there? <laughs> oh, easy. Oh, concrete landing. 